My name is Savante Myrick. I'm the president of People for the American Way. Uh, for four decades, we have fought to make sure that every American enjoys uh, the right to vote and to have that vote counted. And so we're here today, I'll confess, um, I was speaking to a reporter and I, I might have been smiling and they said, well, are, are you happy today? And I actually had to think about that for a moment. Am I happy today? Um, I'm not happy because I'm not satisfied. And I'm also not happy because frankly, uh, it is a dangerous moment in a democracy to have to arraign a former president. It's a dangerous moment. And so we are not happy. This is not a celebration, but this is in fact, a reckoning. This is a reckoning. It frankly, it's taken far too long to get here, but we are relieved that it is here now. Because the only thing more dangerous than arraigning a former president for his crimes is allowing a president to attempt to subvert our democracy and then get away with it. The only, the true danger here, the true danger is we all know, the world knows, the world is watching what happens here today. We know what he attempted to do. And now, because of the facts in Jack Smith's indictment report, we know that Donald Trump knew what he was attempting to do. Donald Trump was lying to his supporters. Donald Trump was mobilizing government resources to install fake electors and keep himself in the White House despite losing both the popular vote and the Electoral College. Imagine where that ends. Do we really believe that after a second Donald Trump term, he would not do the same thing? And after a third Donald Trump term, he wouldn't install Donald Trump Jr. as President for Life of the United States? We have all, it seems like a joke, doesn't it? But we have seen democracy slide this way before. We have seen strong men, including some of Donald Trump's favorite world leaders, by the way, get reelected with 99% of the vote. We have seen what happens to a republic that does not have checks and balances. Ladies and gentlemen, today, we are seeing Donald Trump be checked. And we are seeing his attempted coup be rebalanced by a Department of Justice that for the first time in our nation's history has indicted a president for attempting to invalidate an election. And it, I would be remiss if I did not say, as a black American, that it's not lost on me that Donald Trump is being arraigned today under the very same statutes used to prosecute the KKK. This very same stochastic terrorism and attempts to disenfranchise voters, the same things the DOJ used to put the Klan underground are being used on a former president that surgically targeted Atlanta, Detroit, and Milwaukee. They went to where black voters voted and tried to have our votes thrown out. So no, we're not celebrating. We are gearing up because as the DOJ does their work, we and our coalition will continue to, to do ours, to lift up these voices and to remind Americans that this government still belongs to us. This nation still belongs to us, and we will have the final say next November and every four years after that.